They've always said they can never hear me in the back, so we got some speakers for you. Can you hear me in the back now? Yeah, ooh, Sean McCarthy can hear me. They must be really, really loud. I'm glad to hear that. All right, well, welcome to the biggest contest of the year. And Gary is super excited about it. Awesome, 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 awesome. Well, this is our March Madness contest. This is literally the most money we've ever spent on a single contest. Everybody that is at the home office should have a bracket that you are looking at right now. And everybody from home has an email with the bracket. What you see in front of you is the top 64 agents in the entire company. Give it up for the top 64 agents. Cameron, let's throw up that bracket real quick just in case somebody uh, doesn't know if they made the bracket or not. We're going to start trash talking here for just a second because um, you know that's why you showed up. But for the time being, we're going to go over contest rules and make sure everybody is aware of the, uh, how, the, how, the, how the contest works and how if you did not make the bracket, how you can still play with us. Okay, Cameron, you can take that down. Um, I want to take a look at. All right, check this out. This year we've allocated over $10,000 in prizes, and just like every year, there's always a twist to the plot, okay? Welcome to North Star. <laughs> All right? Um, here's how this works it's a regular bracket, you will be playing against other people based off of where you seated with the company. And it was done uh, just normal tournament style bracket. There was no manipulation. So literally in the first quadrant, second quadrant, third, and then fourth quadrant, based off of your standings, we just went in a circle for the, so the top 64 agents. Every round, as opposed to giving out a big uh, prize at the very end, every round you will win some money for moving on to the next part of the tournament, okay? And so you will see that uh, right now we have 32 live contests. This contest will start on Monday and go to Saturday. Every round starts on a Monday and goes to a Saturday and the person who writes the most sales moves on to the next phase of the tournament. If there is a tie, we will use premium as the tiebreaker. Moving on from the first round to the second round, you have won $100 as an agent. Moving on from the second to the third round, you've won an additional $150. Moving on from the second to the third bracket, you've won an additional $200. From the third contest win, now into the fourth contest win, which actually puts you in the fifth round, you've won an additional $250. That's $700 of total winning right there. If you make it to the championship, you've won an additional $300. The winner of the bracket then wins an additional $3,000 for winning the bracket, okay? Now, customer service, marketing, and uh, sales agents who are new or that did not make the top six. Listen, we got a lot of agents, okay? Yeah. I forgot y'all were here. How you doing? Good. Okay. We are on. We are on. <laughs> Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of agents. It was only the top 64. I know some of y'all got a little chaps that you didn't make the top 64. Um, I would apologize if it was my fault, but I'm not going to do that. So if, if you are in marketing, customer service, or if you are an agent who is not on this bracket, you still have a chance to win big money. Okay, and this is how this is going to work. You know, every year in a tournament, as you guys know, you got 
the fan favorites, and then you got the ones that, what do you call the opposite of a fan favorite? No, not an under, like one that you don't even want to win. The Patriots? The Patriots, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is an opportunity for everybody in the company to play along with us and win some money. So here's how this works. Monday morning, the bracket will go out and as a sales agent, as a sales agent, you have the opportunity to pick one contest that you feel like you personally can write more business than those two people combined. If you beat out those two, and you can pick anyone on the bracket, if you beat out both of those two people, you get the same winnings as the person who actually won that contest. So for the first round, it's $100. And we go on there on after every single round, okay? So 7 a.m. on Monday, you get a bracket. You're going to let your direct contact with the company, your business advisor, your call center owner, whoever it may be, you're going to let them know, all right, I'm rooting against, and then say the names, okay? And this is, just to clarify, this is for people that are not in the bracket. Not in the bracket. Now, what about folks that are eliminated from the bracket after the first round? They're not in the bracket anymore. So they can participate. Start yes. Around. Everybody participates. If you choose to. You've got to let us know who you pick, okay? They're due by Monday, 9 a.m. So we need those early. First thing in the morning, Monday morning. Because listen, we don't want you to wait until Monday afternoon. Then you know whose tire you slashed. We don't want you to know who that is, you know? We, wanna, we want you to be betting, betting on yourself, okay? This will go on. The, second, the, the third round is an additional $150 if you can beat out a total contest. The, third, the fourth round is another additional $200, an additional $250 in the fifth round. If you, if you beat can out... You, hey, can you do a favor? Yeah. We're, we're in March Madness. It's not the fourth round. It's like the final four, the, the Sweet 16, Elite Eight. There's we, are, we, got, in, in, we have a lot of women and myself who work here that don't know <laughs> terminology. Um, We have yeah, round of 64, me. round of 32, um, Sweet 16, Elite 8, Final Four Championship. Okay, Sandy you knows. Thank you, Sandy, for embarrassing me publicly yeah. over the internet. Appreciate that. Yes, I see all the nice comments. Okay, um, that is for sales agents. People at our marketing department, you too will pick one contest and you know the agents really, really well. You know the agent that you send over that call to, and they're like, good morning, this is Johnny and the Fondless Man. And you're like, okay, he ain't going to sell this one. Okay. <laughs> you got a good, good feel of that? All right. You get to pick one contest that is live on Monday morning. If you write more than double that contest, okay, so... You write more than double. In other words, if somebody writes four deals and someone writes three deals, that's seven. You have to do more than 14 deals that contest week. You get the same bonus as the person going on to the next round. Is that right? And then deals, you're referring to sales. Conversions yes. and transfers. Yes. yes, yes, yes. And then customer service. Where are my customer service people at? Okay, all right. The few but mighty. Um, you will do the same thing. You will be selecting a contest, and nobody knows the agents better than customer service. You will be selecting, con don't cheer for that one. Uh, <laughs> you will be selecting a contest, and you have to write more than half of the combined contest in upsells to qualify for the bonus, okay? So everybody is playing off of this bracket. Now, I know you have a question. In the championship round, 
If I write more than both of the people combined, do I win $3,000? No, you win $300, okay? Um, but there's a chance to win $1,000 if you pick the right contest and if you beat those people out every single round. This is gonna last for six weeks for you to compete against the company. It's a little different than what we've done in the past. I mean, Tony and Aaron, what is your guys' opinion on this new format this year? Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, I, it, it's, it's neat to show that even when, because like, let's, let's be real for a second. The, the, the 64th person, the likelihood of them beating out like an Ernice or an Angela uh, is very slim. And so what this does, it's true, come on, let's be real for a second. They're like, that's a severe underdog at that point. And what we've shown in the past is, just like in March Madness, the, the, up, the chance of upsetting a number one seed is very unlikely in the first round. But it keeps that person engaged for the next six weeks. I, I love that. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right. I know we got some questions. I know we got some questions. So we have Jonathan, who's running around with the microphone, because we want everybody from home to hear the questions. If you are watching from home and you have some questions, you can type those questions in. I'm watching you live here, and um, we'll get all those answered. Okay, I saw Linda Lewis with the question. Jonathan's going to run at you. Look at him running. Watch out, girl. Oh, she's in it. Okay, here he comes. Talk loud, Miss Linda. Good morning, everybody. Morning, Miss Linda. Good morning. Is the winner based on premium or application? Apps first. Apps is the um, first thing we look at, and then premium is the tiebreaker. Premium is the tiebreaker. Okay, we got Tim Gehrig over here. Tim G. <laughs> I think you answered this question in the very end of your little talk there, but if someone is eliminated, that doesn't eliminate them from going ahead and placing a, I call it a bet, a yeah. wager on a different bracket for the next week, correct? Yes, that's correct. So okay. if you're eliminated... So keep them involved. Stop talking so loud. What's that? Talking so loud, you're breaking your phone. It? Oh. Yeah. It's like whisper. Am I t is this loud? Am I talking Okay, there you go. That sounds better. Okay. Tony gets really excited about March yeah. Madness. <laughs> if, if you are in the bracket and you get eliminated, then you just participate in what we call the side bets. That's, that's what it is. So put a side bet on someone that you think you can do better than those two folks combined. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, what other questions might we have? I got a question. Okay, Jonathan. Who of you three do you think is going to win March Madness? We're going to get to that now. Hold on. See, <laughs> you got you to gotta count on a little brother to cause some problems in the family. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get to that. Okay, that is the whole contest. There is one more contest that everyone can partake in. What you have in front of you is the entire bracket. We want you to fill this out and tell us who you think is going to win each round and work your whole way through it. Anyone that has a perfect bracket wins $1,000. Okay? Perfect bracket wins $1,000. So you want to fill this out and get this turned in by Monday. Okay? Does that make sense? You all excited? Are there any marketers, are there any marketers in here that think they can do double the lowest person on the sheet? Nobody? <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's pathetic. You couldn't understand me. You mean say in Arabic? <laughs> Marketers, you, will, you, you got this sheet. You see who's playing each other, right? You're going you're gonna to think of all of the transfers that you have sent in your lifetime and all the sales you have not gotten from agents, and you're going to pick the contest that you think, you know, I think these two people are going to score the lowest combined. You're going to let Chanel or Cherie or, if you want to tell Tabitha, uh, 
<laughs> um, that's who I'm going against. If you as a pre-qualifier sells, gets more sales in that week times two, double what they did, then you win the money for that round, which is between $100 and $300 per round. Did that make, that, did that make sense? Y'all with me on that? Okay, what is your name, ma'am? Yes, you. Peggy? Peggy. Now, now that I've articulated it, Peggy, do you think you can, you're kind of new, but work with me here. Do, do you think that you can pick out the lowest person, group, and do more than double than what they do? Yes. You can, good. Good for you. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, we hired a good one. She's smart enough to know she should lie when she's asked that question. Okay, thank you, Peggy. <laughs> Never ask a question unless you know the answer. That's sales exactly. 101. Okay, are there any other questions? Are there any other questions on anybody's mind before we jump into these specific brackets? Okay, we got questions back there, Jonathan. Look at you, a little young brother doing nothing, just eating all the potato chips and blaming me. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. The question is, are you going to cover what qualifies as a sale? Are you going to cover what type of sales count? So they're going to go, an email's going to go out with all of the contest rules. So, for example, an upsell does not count as a sale. A client who has canceled that you rewrote does not count as a sale. Calling Mama Jean because she owes you a favor doesn't count as a sale, okay? Uh, that'll all be described in, in the official rules that we will send out, yes. Yes, so don't worry, but there's a lot of small print to keep it fair, trust me, <laughs> okay? Okay, any other rules? Any other rules? Okay, perfect. All right. Carrie, we need some more brackets. We're going we're gonna to give you guys some insight on who you need to be rooting for and who you need to read between the lines. They're right there, Carrie, on that paper. On there you go, girl. Right there. There, 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 there they go. Okay. All right. Let's go to. That's for us. That's for us. That's for me. Thank you. Let me help you out, girl. Let me assist my assistant. Thank you. Okay. All right, we're going to go to quadrant one first. Look at the top left here. Is Odie in the, is Odie in the house? Odie. Odie. Okay, I think Odie's going to lose against her niece. <laughs> <laughs> Take some notes, y'all. Take some notes. Okay, you're going to hear the brutal truth. Okay, <laughs> er, listen. Now, this is the fourth consecutive year. This is the fourth consecutive year that we have done this. This is the fourth year. Yes. Is our niece in the house? Our niece has never won this contest. She breaks under pressure. Okay? So I'll be honest with you. Now she has a boyfriend. She's going to break real easy. Okay? <laughs> uh, she has never won this contest ever. Ever. And she always complains about the rules and about the blah, blah, blah. So. All right. So. Is there any chance that Odie is going to take out our niece? Uh, Odie, just on a side note, Odie is a, like the top priority going into this today, just so you guys know that. Is that so, right? Yes, she is, and her niece is not. In terms of lead flow I'm referring to. You can hit us now. Okay. So in terms of lead flow, her niece is kind of in the middle of the pack. But Odie, so when Odie's ready for a phone call, she's not waiting. She gets it immediately because she's on a hot streak right now. Who's Odie's manager? Johnny. 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 Where's Johnny at? What do you think? She got a chance, Johnny? Killing it. Killing it. Okay, that's good. You're smart enough to know the lie, too. Great. Glad to hear that. <laughs> All right, we're moving around, too. Okay, Odie is the 64th seed, by the way. Odie is the 64th seed in the company going up against the number one seed, Ernest Blunt. All right, let's work our way down here. We got Kenneth Russell. Versus Jeremy King. We don't give you nicknames to round two, just so you know. You don't deserve a nickname until you've want, done something, okay? So uh, you'll get some nicknames later on. But starting with Ken Russell and Jeremy King. Who's Jeremy's manager? Johnny. Jeez. Okay. What do you say about him against Ken? Each <laughs> Okay. 
Ken Russell, who's Ken Russell's manager? He, he's working out of a E-Fund? Call center. E-Fund got quite a few people out in, uh, listen, if you're looking for some sleepers, if you're looking for some sleepers, I would watch Detroit. I'll be honest Agreed. with you. I would watch Detroit. Ever Absolutely. Since, ever since the coronavirus, they've just been killing everything. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't even playing around. It ain't even playing around. Okay, Sarah Padgett versus Heidi Maderi. Sarah Padgett down in Orlando. Heidi Maderi. Heidi's good. Heidi's really good. That would be an upset if Heidi took out Sarah Padgett. Are y'all taking notes? I'm giving you all the answers legally. Okay. Uh, Ron Gordon versus Matteo Mondragon. Oh, they're cheering for Ron in here. Yeah. What's up with Ron? I, I love you, buddy, but Matteo is a beast. Uh oh. Matteo is good. <laughs> he Matteo, Matteo is is the only like when we do priorities every single day, like it rotates. Typically, people from the bottom move up. People from the the top move to the bottom because they're not consistent. Matteo is single-handedly the only person that just stays at a top priority because he's very, very consistent. Well, then, then why is he ranked so low, Tony? Because he's new. Oh, because he's new. Yeah. You've got a little firecracker you've yeah. got to go up against. All right, good, good. Thomas Beck versus Lisa Carnegie. Thomas, how's Lisa's app? <laughs> I got a giggle, so I'm going for Thomas Beck on yeah. that one. <laughs> Lisa is from Detroit. They got, they, listen, they don't want to mess with Detroit. We're going Akita Williams versus Fred Veltel. Zell, uh, Akita. Well, is Akita here? He's going Fred. He's going, yeah. <laughs> I'll just be honest with you, Akita is hot and cold. Yes, she is. She's hot and yes, cold. And people like that really do buckle under pressure. And, I, and Fred seems like a nice man. He's a new guy. He's not that Newer new. guy. Newer guy, yeah. Newer guy. Newer guy. All right, Colin Grant versus Linda Pessenden. I want to hear Sean McCarthy's opinion on this one, Jonathan. I want to hear Jonathan, uh, Sean, what do you say about Colin Grant versus Linda Pessenden? I'll be honest with you, I'm a little disappointed Linda is ranked so low on the bracket. Um, same with Colin. Colin yeah, th this is a tough one. This is a this tough, is a one. tough okay. one. They're they're two competitors, but I've got my money on the lady. On who? On the lady, Linda. On the lady. On the lady. On the lady. Linda Pesson will take out Colin Grant, huh? She'll work full time and kill it. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Don't mess with Linda Pesson. I'll tell you that right now. She will cut you. All right, last one in the first quadrant. Jessica Green versus Rupert. Too low. Uh, poor go with rookie of the year. Rookie yeah. of the year, Jessica Green. Jessica got that one. All right, y'all got that. All right, let's move over to the right side now. We're going to go to quadrant two, Cameron. You want to pop that up there? Daryl, is Daryl here? Daryl, Daryl, Daryl. I want Daryl to win the whole thing. I want <laughs> just to poop on everybody. Okay. Daryl versus Denise Summers. I'm sorry, I don't think Denise has a shot. No, Denise is good. Denise, Denise is, is good? good? Yes, Denise is good. Where's she from? I have no idea, but, but I, every, every night I go through the production for the previous three days, and I, and I keep rotating, and I study this stuff really closely. And uh, so some of these names that are newer, I see the production that goes up. Denise is one of them that's like a silent killer. She's like a sleeper right here. Um, Daryl, I would not get too comfortable. And, that's, and I mean that because she's good. Denise is good. Oh, Daryl's going to win the whole thing? Better, okay. <laughs> okay, I think Daryl has a great, great shot at doing that. All right, Kimberly Brooks versus Robert Saunders. Yeah, that's another, that's another Robert's one. in the back texting. You think it's going to be, is it going to? His wife just screamed. That's the bad sign. Okay. Uh, you think Kimberly Brooks or Robert Saunders? You think Robert? Man. Uh, uh, Kim's good, too. Kim is good, y'all. Kim's really good. She's from Detroit, right? Yeah. She's one another one from Detroit. Detroit had a lot of people. You get, Co Coach Bird always talks about how you activate prey drive. 
a lot of these folks that are just like, like average producers, competition activates prey drive. And, and I'm going to tell you, and I really mean this about Detroit, Detroit performs strongest during competition. So if you're going against somebody from EFUN out there in Detroit, like, you got to really put your foot to the pedal there because they're going to they're gonna hit hard. They really are. Don't yeah. Based on their speed. If you think East St. Louis is bad, you should go to Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> One time me and Tony were in Detroit. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to tell, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna tell that story. Okay. <laughs> Cedric Hobbs versus Linda Lewis. Cedric's, Cedric's in, Detroit. in Detroit. Yes. <laughs> oh, there you go, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Lewis says she's coming for you, Seti. She's coming for you. All right. Kelly Perry versus Gregory Bilberdorf. Bilberdorf. Bieberdorf. Bieberdorf. Sorry about that. Kelly Perry or Greg Bieberdorf? Who? Greg? Kelly is cold. Kelly Perry, if you're Kelly on is here. Cold. Kelly Perry, if you're watching this, they, everyone's rooting against you, but I believe in you, girl. I a, believe in you. Who are you looking at? It's a good matchup to bet on. Uh huh? It's a good matchup to bet on. Tony says if he was going the first round, he would circle that one as his bet. He believes that'll be the lowest producing contest. Is that right? That is dang rude, Tony. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is dang rude. All right, Kevin Detweiler versus Tamiko Jones. Tamiko is also in Detroit. Kevin Detweiler. Is Kevin here? If you've ever, if you've ever in, been in the same room with Tamiko Jones, you know you should be betting for her, okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's also from Detroit. Um, that's going to be a tight one. Yeah. She's better than her seed. Also hot and cold. Tamiko is way better than her seed. Actually, I think that almost about all of Detroit. Detroit's seeding very low. Yes. Which means they had a cold start this year, but they're, they are better than what their seeds are. I will say this, though, about Detroit. Just FYI, when they don't close down sales, they, they, go, they put themselves on outbound calls. So they're constantly having activity. They don't wait. And so that's just a heads up for some of you that are going against them, that if you don't have enough activity, you don't have a shot. Kevin's been doing this a while, though. I think he's better than his team, too. I think he will step up. For yeah. Kevin Detweiler? Okay. All right, we're getting some trash talking over the, uh, over the Internet. I'm going to read all these to you, except the ones that have cuss words in them. I don't cuss. Okay. Iris Booker versus Bef Beverly... Iris is going to win that one. Woo! Beverly. Who's, Iris is who's good. Beverly report to? She's either in uh, Sentac or Detroit. I think. Okay, Beverly. Beverly's in Detroit? Okay, Bev. You can do it, girl. Just, just, just do it. Okay. Uh, Angela Consencio. 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 Angela Consencio versus Dennis Mann. Here's what I know about Dennis. Correct me if I'm wrong. He's a preacher, isn't he? Never count out a preacher. <laughs> Never count out a preacher. <laughs> and then Darina Wilson versus Chantel Woolfolk. Wait, it depends on which Darina shows up. Oh, jeez. Darina, are you here? I see her. Where's Darina at? Right there. Hey, Darina. I'm rooting for you, boo. I'm rooting for you. Hello. Uh-oh. Did you just burp? I'm <laughs> Huh? What did you say? Are you? <laughs> Can I just say it to tell you I'm going to win? Oh, you're going to win. You're going to win the whole thing, Darina? You know what? I think I'm going to I'm going to win. Okay, there I'm you go. I'm by faith. <laughs> Okay, Darina thinks she's going to take it all. That's good. That's really good. All right, Amy Shipper. Amy Shipper has been doing this since, good gracious, Amy, when did you start selling final spits over the phone? Like the first? 2013. She's one of the OGs around here, okay? All right. She's she been here longer than her niece. You were our niece's manager at one point. Okay. Yes, I was. All right, Amy Shipper versus 
Courtney Crabtree. She's a sleeper. She's a sleeper. I'd be careful with the Crabtree. <laughs> okay? I'd be careful. Uh, Andrea Saunders. Is Andrea here? Okay. Oh, wow. You're here early today. It's not 9 o'clock. Good, good. <laughs> Andrea Saunders. She wore... Did you see her construction outfit on Friday that she wore? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Andrea Saunders versus Angie James. That's a close one. Andrea, you think you could take out Angie James? Angie James is the longest agent on the platform. Been, been with us 2010. We're talking 10 years we've been working with her. What do you say, Mustard? You can take her out? 7.30 at... <laughs> in the morning or at night? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, Samuel Hanna versus Eric Shirk. Samuel Hanna. You got to be careful with Samuel. Sometimes, sometimes all his apps don't count. Um, <laughs> that's the nicest way to put it. And uh, Eric Shirk, I like Eric. I like Eric. Too. Eric, ha I think Eric has what it takes. It, but but he, we gotta we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Agreed. Eric, I'm watching you, buddy. Yeah. I'm watching you. Uh, Karen Montgomery versus James Simpson. Is James here? It's a fun matchup. James, are you here? Karen, Karen's. Say what now? Karen's on fire. Karen's gonna take that one. I think Karen might go far into the bracket. Yeah. To be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, Karen will. Karen, don't yeah. play. Karen, don't play. All right, we're going to Stephen Lapel versus Michael Calvin. Who said Michael? My, thank you, whoever said. Okay, what do you say? Lapel. Lapel. Stephen Lapel. Yeah. Yeah. All day it's going to be Stephen Lapel, Lapel, I'll be honest with you. It ain't even a shot. Like, Michael, you should just go to customer service and save some deals, okay? <laughs> <laughs> if you're not here, that's what happens. Okay. Uh, Shatani Aguchi versus Shakia Brazelton. That's a fantastic matchup. Who's, that's a fun matchup. Yes. That's a fun. That's, that's gonna be fun. That's a fun matchup. Shaky's in uh, our cent our uh, Belleville Partner Call Center. Uh, Shatani is in uh, Detroit. Both are really good producers. Yes, they are. Really, really good producers. Uh, Stacy Lindeman versus Diane Spitz. Yes. Stacy won two years ago, remodeled her whole bathroom, if you remember, so she could crap on the competition. <laughs> <laughs> she put a picture of all of you in the toilet and made it happen. Uh, that's a... I think Stacy won that one, too. Yeah. Okay, Diane, Diane, I think you got something in your girl. You can do it. Diane's been doing it much longer. Cassandra Wilson versus David Burris. Cassandra Wilson. You think so? Uh-huh. Versus David. David's been doing this for a long time down in Texas. Yeah, Cassandra's, Cassandra's good. She's all really right. good. Y'all taking notes? You get it? Because some of y'all need all the information you can get. I, I'm giving it all away, all the secrets. I opened up the HR and violated every HIPAA thing we got. Fourth quadrant. Cameron, if you want to throw that up just for a second there. The last one. Angela Topalis. Does everyone know who that is? Yes. Why does it Topalis, but we call you Kitty? It's a long story. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Versus Derek Barrett. Is Derek here? Derek is the one that has all the, the sleeve tattoos. Yeah. Who's Derek? Does that mean something if you have a lot of sleeve tattoos? It means you should be the director of marketing. <laughs> 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 okay. Kitty, okay. Jason Meter versus Paula Vache. Jason Meter versus Paula Vache. Jason is good, but he don't put in a lot of talk time. Okay, Jason, they're making fun of you. They say you ain't, you don't work, my brother. <laughs> they say you don't work. I don't say that. I, that's what he does. <laughs> okay, Mark Clayton versus Gary Weaver. I'm going with Gary on this one. I think. You know, Okay. Mark. He be, Mark Clayton. Here we go. There's Gary. Gary, what are you going to say to better Mark? Better be on his A game. Better be on your <laughs> A game, Mark. I called 
Okay. Liz Retzer uh, out of Illinois versus Paul Jacobs out of Ferguson. Who? Liz. Liz? Liz yeah, I agree. Yeah, Liz. I, I hate to say that. I'm I sorry, love Paul, Paul, but Liz got this one. I love you, Paul. You're my buddy. Paul, you're my buddy, but it ain't, it ain't your day, baby. It ain't your day. Okay. Angie Williams. Angie Williams was a pre-qualifier that went into sales versus Brian Anderson out of California. Club 40 qualifier last year. Brian was Club 40 last year. Angie's been, is Angie here? Ooh. She sits next to Andrea Saunders. She didn't think we would notice. <laughs> okay. Angie is talented. She's good. She is. It's about effort. For a lot of these folks, it's not a skill issue. It's an effort issue. If they put in the effort, they'll, they'll dominate. Okay. We're wrapping this up here. Tony Smith versus Mark Keller. Mark's going to be here. Mark will be here. Tony Smith, you got five kids. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Heather Rohr versus Joshua Alcantar. Heather. Gosh, you guys aren't even giving these people a shot. Okay, and last but not least, Cookie Harden versus Michael Wiseman. <laughs> I'm going to say this. If there's going to be an upset, it'll be that one right there. I think Mike could take out Cookie. I think he can, but Cookie, she don't play around either. Okay? She don't play around either. But, but I'm going based off of people's commitment to their business. I think the people that, are, that people that have gotten into the habit of showing up early and staying late, those are the ones that are going to take out everybody. So who would you say then would be your, is that, is that your biggest upset that you would predict, Mike Wiseman over Cookie? Uh, is Cookie here? Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay, because I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think Cookie's get, might actually win the whole thing. You think Cookie's going to win the whole thing? I think Cookie will win the whole thing. That'd be an upset. Because Cookie will stay here until 8 o'clock at night working. Okay, so here, here's the question. If you, had to, if you had to pick the winner, who was going to take the whole thing, who would you think that, who would you give the advice to the company for? Who's going to win the whole thing? Daryl? I, I, actually, I actually believe it's going to be Cookie. Wow. I believe it's going to be Cookie. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> let me let me take a think about Cookie. <laughs> Michael says, "How's she gonna win when she get knocked down in the first round?" Yeah. <laughs> cookie, Cookie is, and, and I, I I honestly say this: she's the most consistent person on our platform in terms of talk time, closing ratio, and sales. Now her sales, her sales are not the highest. They're not, but she's very very steady. And so what that means is that she increases her effort a little bit. Her sales will also increase with that. But consistency is key. Because see, here's why, if you, if you wonder why Ernice or Angela, who has always been our number one, number two agent, has never won this, it's because it's one reason only. Yes, tell us, Tony. It's the fact that you have the stamina to outlast somebody. And consistency is, the, is a trigger that tells you you have that stamina. Okay, is, it, is, it, is this fair to say, okay, the top four seeds... Ernest Blunt, Daryl Gleason, Amy Shipper, Angela Kitty. Those are the top four seeds. Is it fair to assume that none of them are going to win? Oh. Hold on, hold on. We got to run over there. Come on, little brother. Do something. Hold on, Kitty. Hold on, Kitty. We need to hear you. I didn't hear you, Kitty. Stand up. Kitty has been club 40. Kitty has won numerous trips. Hello. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I haven't won, but I have placed every year in this contest. So consistency is the key. And I just had two questions. So one question is, uh, upsells are not allowed, correct? Yes. Correct. Good. And then secondly, <laughs> with the outside agents, um, how late can they work until, and can we come in and get those leads until that time as well? You can work until midnight. I don't care. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Saturday, 
Saturday, uh, it cuts off because on Sunday, we've got to redo the brackets. Now, I will say this. Just because you submit an app, that app has to be submitted to the carrier. So I'd be very, very careful with errors because if you've if you got a pending app, it might knock you out. So be careful. It'll all be outlined. We got Saturday covered. Don't worry. But go back, go back, to, your, go back to your question. You said Ernice, Daryl, Amy, or Angela. Do you think one of those four are going to win? No. What do you think? Let me tell you. No, no, number one seed is number one, I don't think. Number one seed is number one. But here was, here's what has happened, if y'all are paying attention. There are people that knocked out our niece like two years ago, and when they say, our niece is the number one agent, they go, yeah, I knocked her out of the bracket <laughs> two years ago. Like that high school quarterback that's like got a bare belly and missing a shoe, you know? Like, well, back in 84, I could throw a mean spiral. Okay, you know, so I think there's more... I think there's more, there's Odie, there she is. Odie, 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 Odie. You have no idea, you got a big, you got something to, you got something to do, Odie. Um, but I think there's more, for many people, there's more gratification of knocking out a top producer than there is of uh, actually winning the contest. Th there's truth to that. Okay, Absolutely. here's my question then. As, as a marketer, if you had to pick the first round, first round, who has the least combined sales that they should be going for? Who should they go for? Well, I, there's two matchups that I would, I would tell you guys to keep a close eye on. It's Jason versus Paula and Kelly versus Greg. Those are two that I would, I would look at heavily. Say that again. Where are you looking at? Which, where on the right-hand side, on the, first bra on the first section, Okay. Kelly versus Greg, 4 versus 13. And then on the bottom of that, uh, Paula versus Vashi, uh, Jason versus Paula. Okay. A versus nine. Gotcha. I like those two matchups. If you get, if, so if you're a marketer and you double them up, plus one, uh, you get a hundred bucks. If you are an agent and do both more than both of them combined, you get a hundred bucks. If you are a pre, if you are in a customer service and you upsell more than half of them combined, you get 100 bucks. That's the first round, okay? Uh, Andrea Saunders has a question. Well, why don't you, who would you pick? Well, let me hear her question first. Okay, so I just wanted to know, um, so for the individuals that didn't make the bracket, as well as if you get bumped out, let's just say the first round, you saying that there is a possibility that you can get back into the game? Is that no, no, no. Don't be making stuff up on me now. Oh, oh that's why I'm. I okay. don't <laughs> no. So no. what is it? What is the side bets? I'm not you understanding. Got, How do you, you side, side bet? You got side games. You can. You're gonna do. You're gonna do a bracket. It's gonna be worth a thousand dollars if it's perfect. You and you can bet against a total contest for the prize money of that round. That's how that works. You with me on that? Okay, don't be betting again. What, huh? How do you, she's asking, how do you choose which bracket you're going against? Okay, did you show up late to this? No. Oh, you didn't? Okay, no, you don't bet. I'm not, the bet is not the right word. Monday by nine o'clock, your manager's gonna ask you, who are you gonna beat out in sales? You're gonna let them know, and that's gonna lock you in for the week. There'll be live updates, and you just got to outbeat those two people, and you win that money. Yep, that's right. So let me go back to your question. Who, who would you recommend for, a, uh, for someone to outbeat? If I was, if I was a marketer and I was going to say I'm going to do better than these two people combined, because here's one aspect that we got to talk about. Most people are, are going to work just a little bit more than their competition. In other words, if it's Thursday and you got two sales and I got four sales, I'm gonna kind of let up on the gas just a little bit. That's, that's true, that is very true. So I'm, I'm going, honestly, my two, if I had to pick two, it would be between Liz Retzer and Paul Jacobs. I think combined you'll get four sales there. One versus, I'm just being honest, one versus three, 
two versus two with the tiebreaker. I'll just be honest. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. Okay, and then uh, I would say Angie James versus Brian Anderson. You might end up with a negative number there. That's, a, that's actually a good one, too. <laughs> I don't agree with the first one, but that's a good one. That's who I would go with. I agree on the Liz Dresser and Paul Jacob. That's one I was going to pick. I don't know if it'll be that low. Liz is capable and she can put up a lot of hats. I just don't think she'll have to do that much. And of course, at the end of the week, you, you start getting your energy ready for next week. And I think the same could be true for the Stephen Lapel, Michael Catherine. I think two, two wins is probably for sale. And uh, start a pump and break for a bit before she goes on. I think Liz, Liz will do Liz will do seven next week. Okay. Who do y'all think in the first round you're going to beat out? Who do you think? Peace. Everyone's whispering Paul and Liz. Paul and Liz. Paul and Liz. I wouldn't do Paul and Liz. Okay. Unless you think you can do 20 sales as a marketer, because that, that's going to be a 10 sale matchup. Seven and three is what that one's going to be. Paul will do three, Liz will do seven. Well, if you're a marketer, you've got to beat 20 then. 20, yeah. Oh, okay. Correct. Okay. I'd go with Paul and Liz if I were you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, this contest starts Monday morning. We need your completed brackets to your direct supervisors. By then, uh, you guys will get that stuff over to Carrie Dearnellis. If you are a business advisor or call center owner, get that stuff over to Carrie Dearnellis. And uh, we need your completed brackets by then. And we need you to let us know who everyone on your team thinks they're going to beat out in direct competition. Sounds good? Happy March Madness. Welcome, welcome. All right. Have an awesome day. Thanks for showing up a little early for us.